speak Darkness has to bow Confusion has its final when you speak. Well, good morning. I'm Langdon Palmer and welcome to the Thursday Three. If I am honest, one of the things I hate the most about myself is when I'm needy. I, I hate to feel needy. And what's even worse than that is needing to feel needed. But I think we all do. I think when you stop from the rush and the hurry and the scurry, uh, and some of us who are older and retired definitely have had time to do that, you realize you do have a need to be needed. And sometimes it makes us feel small and uh, fills us with shame. But listen to what C.S. Lewis says. If he who in himself can lack nothing chooses to need us, it is because we need to be needed. Lewis is following the line of ancient Greek philosophers who who thought about, like, what does God's nature really imply about him? And what must he be like to be omnipotent and omnipresent? And, And they came to this conclusion. He has no needs. But he chooses, out of his love for us, to need us. And he does that for us because we need to be needed. So here is the good news this morning. No matter how you feel, no matter what the accuser, the devil, tells you, you are needed. You are needed by God. He has a calling on your life, and I don't know what your role is to play, but you are needed, and that's why he has you here. And so whether I'm needed to simply honor and worship and praise him, or I'm needed to pray for someone, or I can actually go out and do something to help someone, or to live and model a decent life. I don't know all the calculus of that, but what I know is my life has worth. I am needed. I am needed by God himself. Let's pray. Oh God, thank you that you gave me a part to play in this life. You have known me, you have seen me since I was a little child, right up to this morning. And you say this life of mine matters. It has worth, it has weight. It has an important role to contribute in what you are doing. Therefore, this day, help me to yield my life to you. Help me to be an instrument of your peace. Help me to be an instrument of your love. I think of one person I could encourage or help today. Lord, would you help me do it? Thank you that I can be your instrument. I commit the day ahead to your keeping. And I pray in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me. And you can see there are three ways to connect to our church. If you're in the Philadelphia area, I hope you can join us in person this Sunday for worship. If not, you can join us online. Whatever this day brings, go out into it in the name of the Lord, the one who loves you and needs you. I'll see you next time. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face twice